uh, <coughs> Chili Chili, Gen B, and... Oh, wait. I think, I think it, was, it was... It was two. It was two. My bad. It's I all good. I can't count. But now we're going to move on to this next match. You see J-Kid coming up to that, fighting <laughs> off against the one and only Nico from Southern California. Oh, I thought you said another name. J-Kid. Got it. All right, yeah. so J-Kid versus Nico. Here it is, Nico. Uh, I'm a... <laughs> big fan of Nico because of the fact that, you know, he's one of those guys that was a big supporter of Shulk. And not only does he love Shulk, but he also loves Joker. We did see him stream a lot of Persona 5 on his personal broadcast. Guys, make sure to check him out. I believe he's at Two Scoops Nico, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so but, um, on that ballpark. Yeah. yeah, but he's, yeah, he's such a smart player. Big, big supporter of Shulk, even since Smash 4. And yes. Smash, uh, Shulk is like one of those sleeper, sleeper uh, top tiers. You yeah. know, like he's he's definitely capable of being there, but there aren't enough results for people, everybody to agree. But he has the range, he has the damage out, but he has so many, so much great tech at his disposal that a lot of people don't know about, you know. And I do like this iteration of Shulk in this particular game, because in this game, right, you're actually, I feel like it's it's actually not too bad to play a monotonous Shulk in this game in comparison to the last one. Right, because he's got so many tools in Manila that he doesn't need to rely on that. You see the constant swap of Minato Arts. You see how quickly, how much, like, how much power he has behind us, how much he's practiced being able to switch like on a dime. He's yeah. trying to go for Smash Minato right after the shield, trying to mix up the knockback so he could be able to try to just mess around with J-Kid's combos. You know, I got J-Kid here representing Peach, who was part of the Peach vs. Daisy crew battle yes. coming from North Carolina. The man's actually a commentator as well. He goes down there and commentates a little bit. So, oh, sick. Yeah, so he, he, you know, he, he understands that. Like, you gotta go out and try to compete a little bit, go out to some tournaments, get some mic uh, opportunities out there. Maybe some stuff can happen. But right now, he's fighting off against Nico. Yep, and Nico, and yep, you can see Nico. He understands that he has the range to make it difficult for Jacob. Jacob waited for the expiration of that Smash Monado for him to play again. And he, you saw how Jacob tried to swing with the fair. A lot of other characters would not dare challenge that. Wait. Oh, he got the turn up. Is he done for? He should be able to come back. There he goes. I mean, there, there was an opportunity for Jacob to go off there and try to punish him. But I know how dangerous it can be to try to try to you know you know challenge air slash of all things. That thing is destructive. Uh-oh, back throw, and we're back. Tosses him flying, and there's so many people that have actually commented about how this matchup is super in Schultz's favor. Yeah, he just yeah. cannot deal with Schultz because of his massive range. He's dead. Yeah, that forward throw, oh my goodness. He didn't even have to down throw. He just said yeah. forward. Well, actually, his forward throw is his kill throw now. Yeah. Yeah, so forward. Yeah, we're not, this is a different game. Yeah, right. In, in, in Smash 4, his down throw was the kill exactly. throw. Exactly. Now in this game, forward throw is being the one that's the kill throw. Down throw is now more of like a combo starter. Look at that. Trying to get the damage right now with Buster. That's a free punish. Yeah, big damage. 40% extra damage. And those up tilts, it is hurting. Oof. Another grab. It. Yeah, dude. It, it's it's tough right now for, for J-Kid. These forward airs. Back oh, air catches the spot gosh. dodge. Yep, so smart. He delayed that one, too. So, oh my god, look how quick he is, chaining across the stage. And there from behind, you see how far that, how yeah. much range that covers. That applies so much pressure to Jake. It also has the uh, air slash out of shield. Quick, good out of shield burst option. You opt to switch over to jump. Shield to land down on the ground, try just to be safe. He's gonna opt to go back to Buster while he's on the stage. Just try to apply some more damage while he's at a low percent. Yep, try I to like space out with down tilts. I like that too, you know, saving the shield, knowing that you've seen a lot of Shulks actually use shield to get out of combos too. He's looking Ooh. for the kill. That was an air slash. But that, regardless, the fact that he at least parried the option after the side B yeah. was impressive. The fact that he didn't miss the punish afterwards. Wait, wow. he got this one. Vision. Yes, sir. He sees everything. He saw the future, man. And he saw how long he held that for. Just like in Smash 4 days. He's got a good rhythm going. And his counter lasts for quite a long time. <laughs> like even It's kind of like he starts putting the sword away by a couple frames, and it's still active. So he catches a lot of players off guard. Just like I called, caught Jake off guard. Because he saw the vision come out. He waited. They went for the punish, but it was still active. Ugh. Vision is so sick, dude. And he held forward to go for the alternate version, which has more knockback and bad damage on it. Oof. Yeah, Nico might, is a player that I think is capable of getting top eight here. Yes. Yeah, there are a lot of there are a lot of heavy hitters though, so some people may think top sixteen might be the safer call. But I mean, I think Shulk is just one of those characters that a lot of people don't have a lot of experience against. There, are, you know, he's hard to master. He has so much, so much, so much, so much cool tech that is really hard for a lot of people right. to even master, right? They even got like the storage dial, which makes exactly so what I was a, about to mention. You can get like a Minato R even quicker. Yep. Based on if you like store store like the startup earlier on, it can make it make it instant so combos are more possible yes. later on. 
There we go, down air, trying to get that damage increase. Applying a lot of pressure. You see him trying to do shield pressure with the down air. If he managed to get it a second time, that could lead into a potential shield break. Yep, and you saw Sour Spot back it right there, but running it back was Jaken just trying to get Nico off stage. And Nico, it doesn't look like he's going to slow down any bit, dude, while he has that speed. And that was smart that he switched over to Speaking Out Art while off stage because he just because Speaking Out Art gives him that vertical distance that yes. he needed to get back to stage while also conserving Jumping Out of Art. So he did crazy combos like this, allows him to go super deep. This is the backer, but gets the punish with an air slash. JK just struggling to find any sort of like uh, control in this matchup. You see that massive sword, he just can't deal with it. Uh oh, and now that smash is here, things are completely different. I liked how Nico jump, full jumped over, and again, landing the backer. This time, no spot dodges red. Instead, he just straight up clipped them. Buster is out. And you see how seamless these Minato Arc switches are. Trying to outspace him with the Minato. JK just needs to find his way through the sword. And the second he gets a grab, trying to apply as much damage as possible while also respecting the shield Minato Ward. They can easily just break combos. Yeah, you mentioned trying to find his way through. Easier said than done. The range right. that Shulk has. You know, this character, he's in such a good spot when it comes to this game. There it is. Managed to overshoot the shield to get uh, the not so well spaced back air because of the fact that he dashed in. All right, but now, tough spot. Smash Minato Art. If he gets caught by a smash attack or a super Even deep, he yeah. had to go for that early parasol to avoid any sort of follow ups. Good drift from JK. Going to be able to avoid potentially dying really early. Jump Minato already takes the most amount of damage in this Minato art form, but he's not going to be able to take any hits whatsoever. He turns it off after that back throw. And I like what you saw right there. Nico trying to see if he can get two frames with the forward air. Such a good tool to catch people as they're recovering right there at the edge. Back air. Oh, instead of reverse. Yes, yes. sir. That's so what smart. you got to go for when you hold on to that ledge. You just let go of it. Reverse error slash. Even though he was in parasol, it covers a lot of range. Not exactly. able to trip away that time around. Dude, the fact that he didn't use it in the first game yeah. made me not expect him to use it in this one. That was so sick. He opted to try to go for the counter to catch the first swing of air slash. to yep. be able to get that auto snap on the ledge. Instead, this oh combo is going in vanilla. Oh, my he God. He continues 64%. Tries to go for the air slash as well. Dude, the range that he has with Nair is insane. Dead. Like, understatement, but please, yeah. dude. <laughs> the, it, it covers the top, the, from behind, from the front. Just he so has to go ham. Now you see him switching over to the shield because he's a mid combo, but now it's going to be in cooldown for a bit. So now it's Jake gets time to shine. Try to on as much damage as possible. Got to respect that forward air. He's going to go off super deep for it. Yep, there it is. Like you said, that air drift that he has. And again, just getting free damage every single time. Peach is wide open. Yep. And honestly, I think this might be done. Yes, there it is. Deco just going for the back air. And honestly, dude, when people said Shulk beats Peach, I can kind of see it, man. Yeah. It, that, that looks tough that, for yeah, Peach. Like, yeah. She just can't break that zone the, because the, she's, she doesn't have like the, the highest ground speed. The range is insane. Mm. And even like mid-combo, the fact that you could see Shulk decide, oh,